Collins fam, I just had something to say. I've been on this highway for like 50 miles now, and I just wanted to come here and just just talk, talk some motivational stuff to y'all. Bruh, everything has its season. Everything that you're going through has its season. If you're down bad right now, just know that it will get better. It will get better. It's, it's a must. Like, you going through it, don't worry about it. Keep your head down and push through. It's brighter on the other side. It's hard to, it's, it's easier said than done. Because best believe, when I was down bad, I wasn't thinking like this. But then again, I didn't have nobody to tell me. Yo, bro, everybody wants to say, bro, you'll be all right. You'll be good. They don't know what you're going through. You're going to get out of it. You feel me? You're going to get out of it. One of the things that helped me. One of the main things that helped me when I was down bad, like really down, I'm still down bad. I ain't good. I ain't trying to say I made it. No, 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 I'm down bad. But I'm motivated. I know that I'm an eagle and I'm gonna soar through this storm. I'm not gonna turn around. I'm not, it's harder to stop and turn around and this to keep going. It's easier to just keep going. You got a hundred flights of steps. You tell me you at, you at step 66 and you gonna turn back now because it's too hard. But you almost there. You might as well just keep on going. You get what I'm saying? But one of the easy, one of the best things that helped me out when I was down bad, like really bad, like at my lowest, like a year ago, getting off of social media. I can't stress it enough. When you down bad, like every day you wake up, you damn near don't even want to live. Not suicidal or anything. Getting off of social media. When you down bad and all you see, all you scrolling through is celebrities living their best life, your friends, living their best life, your family living their best life, a lot of that shit be fake. So, you going through it, you looking at other person living their best life, you like, damn, bro, why can't that be me? No. Go through what you gotta go through, go through your season, because it's a blessing, and it's a lesson in everything you're going through. You get me? That's how you gotta think. Rom, it's a blessing in this, and it's a lesson. I'm gonna learn something from going through this. We're gonna keep on getting up. We're gonna keep on pushing to God be the glory. Say a prayer. If you're not a prayer, learn to pray. I'm telling you, when you pray, that shit makes you feel better. But get off of social media. Do a do a social media detox. I'm telling you, two weeks into not being on social media, your spirits is gonna lift right away. Your problems is not gonna go away, obviously, because social media is not the root of your problems. But you're gonna feel an instant lift in your spirits. Get productive, go outside, take a walk, listen to some motivational speakers. Cause music be throwing your shit off too. You listen to people, people living this, oh, icy, icy, Lambo, Lambo, vroom, vroom, VVS's. For that, they have money, they, they're living a happy life. So once again, you're back in the same predicament, like, damn, bro, I wish I could live the lifestyle that my favorite rapper is living, or my favorite singer. No, motivational speakers, they get you in your feelings. They get you, they get you knowing that better days are coming. You will grow through what you go through. Like shit like that is what you want to hear on a regular. I'm telling you, it makes such a big difference. And I'm talking from a person that experienced how motivational speakers changed my life. People that don't even know me, that never even met me, changed my life in so many ways. You get me? So this was just a little rant of me just trying to motivate you guys. Trying to just let y'all know that whoever's going through right now, along with me, we gonna get out of this. You a king, you a queen, you meant for greatness. So every day, wake up and act like it. It's a God be the glory, Collins fam. I love y'all. Peace. Hey, Collins fam, since I got my, my, my truck lights on and I'm in my ranting mode and talkative mode, I wanna tell y'all a little story when I was young. And I think back about it now, like, wow, that's crazy. But this is a story. So, if you guys didn't know, I'm I'm half Vincentian and half Trinidadian. So my dad is from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. That's a Caribbean island. You guys can look it up. Um, and my mom is from Trinidad and Tobago. That's another Caribbean island. But I was born here. Don't ask me how, but I was born here. No, just let me stop. I was born here. My mom, she worked on a cruise ship, like, you know, car Carnival Cruise Lines. I don't know if you guys ever been on a cruise. And my aunt lived over here, so when they, when she, when they sent her on maternity leave, she came to spend the time with my, my aunt, since my aunt was the closest to her. But, back to my story. 
So when I was really young, I was, I went, after I was born and everything, I went back to St. Vincent. And I started like my school, my preschool years and stuff like that, like kindergarten and stuff like that, like preschool, like my, my like baby years over there in St. Vincent. So it was this one day, true story, no cap in this story at all. Um, it was this one day that I was in school and it was like recess, like I think it was like lunchtime. I was super young, I don't even remember my age, but I was, I, I was definitely under 10, for sure. And uh, it was lunchtime, and we went on top of the school building. Like, it was steps to go on top of the school building. They were, they were doing something up there, like it was construction. We weren't even supposed to be up there because they didn't even have no barricades, no gates or anything like that. If, you, like, if you're running, you could slip off of the building, basically. So we're up there, a couple kids and, and me were up there. And um, we're up there playing. And me, you know, being, being the fucking crazy ass person that I am, I was playing cars and I thought I was a car. And I was reversing, beep, 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 beep. I fall straight off of the school building. Like, don't get it twisted. This school building wasn't six stories high, but it was probably about as high as like a, a house in like downtown Jersey City. A high as like a two family house, basically. I fell, uh, sprained my neck, I think broke my arm, and my, I hit my head. My mom told me that my head was as soft as like a cushion. Like you see how you can press this and it goes in? That's how my skull felt. My skull felt like a sponge, but I didn't die. So that all circles back to, 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 to what I say. Well, not what I say, but what a lot of motivational people say. Everything happens for a reason. You go through what you go through and God has a plan for you. No matter what happens, God has a plan for you. No matter what happens, God has a plan for you. So, I could have died that day. Like, I fell off. I could, I fell off, hit my head. I could have broke my spine, my neck, dead. But I lived through it. I had to get a brace around my neck. I had, to, I had a, um, a thing around my arm. And I'm living. So I'm meant for something. God has something written down somewhere in my story that I'm meant for something. I'm here for a reason. Because if I wasn't here for a reason, I would have died that day. This kid died, passed away. My mom would have been in tears. My dad would have been in tears. They would have got over me. That was years ago. Oh, well, they probably wouldn't have got over it. Probably would have been always a little hurt in their heart. But you guys get where I'm coming from. So it's something in your journey. It's something written down somewhere that's meant for you. You're meant for greatness. God has a plan for you. You understand what I'm saying? So live life like it's your last and keep on pushing through whatever you're going through. Because I could have died, but I'm not dead. There's a lot of situations where a lot of people could have died, but they're not dead. It's because it's a plan. It's a reason why. It's something that's meant for them. God has something on their plate that you didn't even see yet. God has something on your plate that you didn't even see yet. But you sitting there thinking, oh, oh life is so bad. Like, it's going to get better. Trust and believe. Just have faith. It's easier said than done, but just try to listen to some motivational speakers. Get off of social media. Write down what you're grateful for, even if it's for a, for water, for 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 an apartment with my mom. Right? It's something that you could be grateful for. Write down something that you want to accomplish in your long life, and you will see your spirits lifting little by little. Your problems, your debt, your what you're going through is not going to go away, but it's going to get better. It's brightness at the end of your storm. Believe that. But I think I'm done for now. I don't know what this video is going to fully evolve. It might be just me like ranting and just like pouring out my motivation to you guys and story time and stuff like that. But Vlogmas has been a blast so far. I'm keeping strong as you guys see. Just continue to show love. Continue to like and please press that subscribe button, man. I can't stress it enough. Subscribe to your boy. Subscribe to your family. You get me? Show some love. I know that it's kind of hard when you click the link from what I post on Instagram because it just opens you up to a browser and you're not even signed into your Instagram. You're just signed in as like a regular person. 
but take that extra step and maybe search us up on YouTube and subscribe from your YouTube, like your actual YouTube that you're signed in. You get me? Show some love. Like, comment, subscribe, even share on your story. You'll really appreciate it. You feel me? I love you guys. Peace.